Hi, this is Jeff Olsinger with Team Horizon. I'm going to do a video today on some building tips on some chemicals that uh, a lot of us always use when we're building model airplanes. As everybody knows, if you've been building and working with model airplanes, Windex has always been the go-to thing to clean uh, glow fuel, gasoline, smudges, whatever. We, we all live on Windex. But I want to talk about two more chemicals today that really uh, are necessary when you build an airplane. Of course, everybody knows a lot about lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner is a solvent. It's very powerful. Uh, it's great for cleaning up epoxy that's non-cured. So if you're doing hinge lines and things like that, and you're, uh, you're gluing in your hinges and you get a little epoxy where you don't want it, you can use lacquer thinner on a paper towel and it'll clean epoxy up like there's no tomorrow will not hurt the uh, monocoat or ultra coat or whatever you're using but you can't get lacquer thinner around some paints it will just destroy a paint job and also plastic windshields and things like that that's on your model do not get lacquer thinner around that so my go-to product next is this Napa and Napa is basically cigarette lighter fluid and I tell you I love this stuff. I use it for everything. I use it to wipe down. Well, I'm getting ready to put some graphics on this cub here. So what I want to do is I want to wipe down the side of the cub and make sure there's no kind of residue or anything on the cub or the monocoat rather before I put on vinyl graphics. And it's great for that kind of stuff. And it's also great for and I know a lot of you have done it if you're picky like I am sometimes when you get a the covering and you you're ironing down covering that's wrinkled up and it, it'll pull a little bit from the other line of covering and you'll see this residue line if you take that Napa and you rub it on there with a with a paper towel it will clean that residue right off but the biggest thing that I use Napa for is to take off things like stickers if you get a sticker on something and you want to take the glue off it'll take the glue off the price tag sticker or whatever and it won't bother plastic and I'll show you here in a few minutes I'm gonna rub it on this windshield on this cub and it doesn't bother plastic so if you're taping something up or doing some paint work and you get light overspray uh, you can wipe it off with Napa and it'll take it right off but here is the big one right here see this mess right here on this cub Let's see if I can get a good picture of it anyway that is exhaust out of the motor and that's that oily residue well let me tell you you cannot use uh, Windex to hardly get that stuff off it just smears and smears and smears so I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and I'm going to use some Napa and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take off oily residue on your airplane whether it's glow fuel whether it's a helicopter in this case it's just a big gasoline engine that spits out this black uh, oil all over everything so let me pause and get on a tripod and show you how easy it comes off okay I want to show you one quick thing before I show you how good the uh, Napa takes off all the grease and oil see this area on this airplane when I was building this airplane I knew that this area right here where the covering meets the metal that's going to get fuel soaked with gasoline oily residue so these little things I'm showing you here on camera they're they're little daubers that you buy at paint supply stores automotive paint supply stores and they're basically to get rid of fish eyes and clear but they're like a little powder puff so I dip those in epoxy and then I take that epoxy and I go around this edge and I seal that edge of monocoat or ultra coat up because I know that fuel and oil residue is going to try to get under there and when it does it won't no longer stick so by sealing that up it stops you from having any kind of repair problems in the future one other thing I'll show you is these pins that I use these dry erase pins so if you're laying out graphics or something and I'll just do it here on this ultra coat and I don't know if it shows up very well but you can see it made a mark and those marks right there 
if you do them in you know sharpies and stuff like that you can't hardly get them off you can use lacquer thinner and all that stuff to try to get it off but let me show you you just take a little bit of Windex and squirt on there and uh, because it's a dry erase pen sorry about the camera action it'll it'll just wipe right off so that's another little tip that I like to use is those dry erase pens okay let's show you how the Napa cleans up the oil okay so I hope the camera stays focused so I'm gonna pour some of this Napa on on a rag or you can do this paper towel or whatever and watch this this stuff here if you wipe it with Windex all it does is smear and you're you're on there forever watch this with this Napa look at this okay so that's it man I mean it is I live I live on this stuff I love it it just really works good let's see if we can get up here on the bottom of the altar coat okay see where that's all real nasty and messy so I pour yeah you know, just stick a little bit on a on a rag or a paper towel and just watch this stuff it just I mean it's like magic <laughs> you're not gonna do that with Windex Windex will not cut it and the neat thing about it is there's a there's an alter coat line here where the two pieces go together and normally if you do it with Windex that line always stays black with naphtha it uh, it cleans that line out uh, it just you know completely cleans it up so it makes it really easy to clean up a model it doesn't take nearly the effort or the time that it does with with Windex and also uh, Windex if you leave like residue from a gas airplane on on very long it will actually white it will kind of stain the white something about the Windex that bothers it but this here you just wipe it right off with that that's it's I call it a cigarette lighter fluid but it's naphtha and it just cleans right up I mean it's just so much easier than trying to deal with Windex so anyway I thought I'd just pass that along it's kind of a magic chemical that uh, I guess a lot of guys don't know about but uh, you buy it at Lowe's uh, you buy a quart of it quart will last you forever and uh, once you start using it you're gonna love it I mean I use it for everything it's just uh, I mean it, it's just an amazing chemical to use around model airplanes it's not a real strong solvent so it won't damage the plastics and the ultra coat monaco or paint uh, but always test an area before you th you throw it on there you may find something that it bothers but I've been taking like price tags off of stuff for years and years and years using that and I've never ever had it interact with any kind of a plastic product so that's my uh, tip about uh, the chemical called Napa it's about 10 bucks a quart and like I said you get it at Lowe's and it'll last you forever thanks for listening